हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस प्लूरा एंड लंग सी दिस पिक्चर दिस इज द इन सी टू पोजिशन ऑफ द टू लंग्स अलोंग विद दार्ट स्पेस बिटवीन द टू लंग्स इन थोड़े से कैविटीज नोन एज द मीडिया स्टाइनम इन दिस पिक्चर दिस इज द लंग दिस इज राइट लंग दिस इज लेफ्ट लंग इन बिटवीन विद इन द मीडिया स्टाइनम दैट इज द मिडल मीडिया स्टाइनम this heart is present and this is the trachea now see this next picture this this is the this is the outer covering of the lung known as the pleura this is right lung and this is the right lung uh, each lung has two surface costal surface and the medial surface so this surface is the costal surface which is related to the ribs we can easily see the impression of the ribs or these are the grooves for the ribs and then see this picture in this uh, we are seeing the medial surface of the right lung and the identification of the medial surface is presence of hilum this is the hilum clear this this structure is hilum so when hilum is visible it is the medial surface same here this is the left lung the costal surface and another surface this is the mediastinal surface so see now the heading is lung and pleura first we will talk about the lung this is the right lung this is left lung so these are the two lungs right lung is bigger and heavier than the left lung each lung has uh, three borders the anterior border the posterior border and the inferior border so this this is the anterior border this is posterior border and this border is the inferior border now see and the lower part of the uh, in the left side lower part of the anterior border is absent it forms a notch this notch is known as cardiac notch because the uh, heart is more on the left side now each lung it has two surface the costal surface and medial surface on the medial surface hilum present the part of the lung which is present above the first rib this is the upper limit of the thorax so part of the lung which is present above the first rib this this is known as the apex of lung which is present in the cervical part and this this is the base base of the lung which is present on the dome of diaphragm so apex of the lung present in the neck region up to what extent this 2.5 cm above medial end of clavicle upper limit of the thorax is first rib but first rib cannot be palpated it is overlapped or hidden by the clavicle bone so reference point is the clavicle medial end of the clavicle 2.5 cm above in the neck up to that point lung is present known as the cervical part of the lung or the apex of the lung and the base of the lung present on the dome of diaphragm so this surface we are seeing here this this surface is the costal surface another surface is the medial surface see the medial surface this this is posterior border this is anterior border this is anterior this border is inferior border so this is the cardiac notch this time this cardiac notch it comes to the 
outer side. Now this is the hilum. Hilum of the lung is present on medial surface. So this surface is medial surface. And this hilum divides this medial surface into the two parts. Anterior to the hilum, this is mediastinal surface. And posterior to the hilum, this, this is the vertebral surface. Now the other point, what are the superior relation of the hilum in both sides? In the right lung, hilum is arched superiorly by a gigas vein. A gigas vein, this is the superior relation of the right hilum. In the left side, left hilum, it is arched superiorly by arch of aorta. This, this is the arch of aorta. It is arched superiorly. Now the next point, what structures are present at the hilum of lung? Root of lung attached at hilum. Uh, see this picture, this. This is the costal surface, this is the medial surface, so this is the hilum. Now it is clear to you, this, this is the hilum. Now, root of the lung attached at the hilum and the root of the lung is not a single structure, it is a group of structure. So, what are the contents of the root of lung? Number one, left principal bronchus. At left root of lung or on left side, And E parterial and high parterial bronchus on right side or on the right root of lung. So, at the right root of lung, there is no right principal bronchus. It has been divided into two parts E parterial bronchus and high parterial bronchus. The second is pulmonary artery. It is one on each side. The next is the pulmonary vein. They are two on each side. Next, uh, bronchial artery. They are two on left side and this is the one on right side. These bronchial artery, they supply blood to the bronchial tree. Then the next is the bronchial vein. They are two on each side. Next is the pulmonary nerve plexus. Then hilar lymph nodes, they are also known as the bronchopulmonary lymph nodes. And uh, the outer covering of the lung. This, this is known as the pulmonary ligament. Pulmonary ligament. This, this is the outer covering of lung root. Yes. 
this is the extension of mediastinal pleura. Extension of mediastinal pleura, this. So these are the contents of the root of lung. Now, one by one we will focus. The first I told you left principal bronchus present on the left side and there is no right principal bronchus at the root of the right lung. Pulmonary artery, it is one on each side, okay. But what is the color of the pulmonary artery? The only artery of the body which carry deoxygenated blood. So please identify it with the blue color. Clear? And the pulmonary vein, they transport oxygenated blood. So their color is the red. So in this color, when the picture questions are asked, we confuse. The blue color for the artery here and the red color for the pulmonary vein. The bronchial artery, their color is red. All the arteries are red. So they supply to the bronchial tree. Bronchial artery, they supply bronchial tree up to respiratory bronchiole. Up to respiratory bronchiole. Now the bronchial artery, they are two on left side. So from where are they coming? These are the branch of descending thoracic aorta. While in the right side, it is only the one branch and this is the branch of right third posterior intercostal artery. This. Now bronchial vein, they are two on each side. Now the pulmonary nerve plexus, it is the nerve supply of the lung and the pleura. Hyalur lymph nodes, these are the bronchopulmonary lymph nodes. So these are the content. Now we will see the arrangement of these structures. The arrangement of structures at root of I am drawing this root of the lung and this root of the lung it is coming from the medial surface this this is the right root of lung this is right root of lung this is the left root of lung so this is anterior this is anterior this is posterior upside superior downside this is the inferior now see There are two pulmonary veins on each side. This is superior pulmonary vein. This is inferior pulmonary vein. This is superior pulmonary vein. This is inferior pulmonary vein. So they are red color. So this is a vein. Then pulmonary artery. This is artery. Artery shown with blue color. This, this is artery. The next is the bronchus. In the right side, in the left side, there is left principal bronchus. In the right side, there is no right principal bronchus. It has been divided into two parts. This is E parterial bronchus, and this, this is the high parterial bronchus. So now we have to focus on the arrangement of structures. First, it is the left root of lung. So direction is anterior to posterior. The anterior to posterior arrangement is V A B VAP V for superior pulmonary vein A for artery and B for bronchus. And now come to the right root of lung direction is anterior to posterior. And see this this is the vein, then this is the artery, and this is the bronchus. Either it is the although it is E part and high part these are the bronchus and they are present posteriorly. So this is the vein artery bronchus. So it's mean that there is a single mnemonic when we talk anterior to posterior arrangement. On the both side it is VAB. Now focus at the left root of lung arrangement is from superior to inferior. This 
this is the a b v so a for artery b for bronchus and v v for inferior pulmonary vein so this time it is inferior pulmonary vein superior to inferior and then from superior to inferior at the right root of lung so uppermost structure is the e partial bronchus then it is the artery then high partial bronchus and then it is the vein v4 inferior pulmonary vein so when we are talking about the superior inferior arrangement so one point is this the vein superior to inferior it is the inferior pulmonary vein while anterior to posterior it is the superior pulmonary vein the next point superior to inferior arrangement is little different in the left side it is the a b v but in the right side it is e b a h b v but i suggest remember just one mnemonic a b v superior to inferior a for artery b for bronchus v for vein but when in the right side this b means the high partial bronchus keeping in mind e partial bronchus keep it upside because it gives air to upper lobe of right lung so keep it upside eb then abv so this is the arrangement of structures at the root of lung now we will now the next point the fissures and lobes of lung first of all fissures they are two types number one is oblique fissure and second is the transverse fissure this transverse fissure it is present in right lung only and the oblique fissure it is present in both lungs like this the right lung and the left lung so this fissure this is the oblique fissure present in both the lung and this is the transverse fissure which is present in the right lung only so by the help of two fissures right lung is divided into three lobes upper lobe middle lobe and the lower lobe and the this uh, the left uh, lung it is divided only two lobes the upper lobe and the lower lobe <laughs>